crew. What's good? What's good? It's Dada. And be nice. And today we're gonna be cooking. We cook it with a family. Right now, it's just the two of us right now because we started. Y'all see my gloves are on. Sorry, I should have actually probably washed and did everything before. You did. Well, not before, during I met. I don't know, he look like, uh-uh. We ain't even gonna talk about that right now. But I did go on um, IG um, before I started this video um, to see if you guys could guess what we was making. So if you didn't get to see the IG, um, you could guess now when we start cooking and stuff like that. As we're cooking, you can um, comment down below what you think we making. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the post Post notification, notification, and share with your family and friends. And get us to a thousand subscribers. That's so our we, goal now. A thousand. Just a thousand, guys. That's just a thousand. 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 Uh-huh. So once you guys do that or whatnot, continue watching the video. Don't stop or pause or skip through. You ain't gonna wanna miss the good good that's going down. But in between you're gonna see the kids come and do their little part or whatnot, because you know it is a family affair. But we're about to get this thing started. Started. We're about to rock this kitchen. Right? I am. Not a whatever. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but we a team. Not I learned right. from the um from D Nice because he's a um, sous chef. But uh, but she like twisting stuff around and she do it her way. So oh, thanks, babe. I, I give you that. I give you thank you, thank you. It'll be alright. You know it's quarantine mode, so why not come along with us and do some cooking? We've done it in the past. We strayed away from it. We kind of took a break. We in and out, but we're going to try to stay consistent with you guys. So please bear with us because we are new and learning each and every day. So please don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Love you guys. Deuces. Go big. DJ, no, nobody want to hear you. Welcome back, guys. Sorry, had to tell the baby to kind of pipe down. Um, but So we got some meats here. Um, I'm using beef as the meat um here for the food that we making so as you can see i have all my ingredients already out i just want y'all to see that way y'all can guesstimate what i'm about to make so um what i'm gonna do is start by cleaning up the meat I have the um, the beef cube that you, they usually make for um, stew, um, but that's to add extra meat or whatnot. Do that. I'm gonna put this in the sink, you guys. And then I have the beef spare ribs sliced. two packs um once you guys see everything you guys can based on your family size you can make um you know pick and choose how much meat you use you can pick and choose a different meat i'm just using beef sometimes i've used pork um but this time i'm using beef um and like the spare ribs because like i said we got carnivores up in this joint so that's that so the next thing i would typically do is grab a little bit of salt Sprinkle it onto the meat. I will take some um, distilled white vinegar, or you can use whichever vinegar suits you. It's just to kind of, you know, sterilize and clean the um, meat a little. If you guys haven't noticed, um, I'm an Islander, Haitian to be exact. But I cut a little bit of that. So, um, Put that there. And then I like to throw in a little bit of mojo. Um, this is, um, actually no, you know what I'm gonna do? We ain't gonna even do mojo, because I just realized I did pick up 
some some sit one. I'm going to leave my mice here. Limes, guys, limes. I did a little light, white lie, guys. I didn't pick them up. They actually my mama's, but I got her. She's stealing. <laughs> so, cut that. Cut that. Then I just squeeze that in alongside vinegar well this has a lot of um juice in it so i'm probably gonna only need um just the one and a half let's see mm -hmm. i probably just need one eggs i kept both oh i'll probably just use the um recipe for um the shrimp and the crab Give it a little bit of lemon. So once you do that, I just like to kind of make sure the salt, lemon juice, vinegar gets all into the meat. And while that's going, I'll just keep put it to the side because I'm gonna need to um, boil some water, some hot water to pour over it. That way it does what it do, but in the meanwhile, the acid is going into it. And you know, that's what we were taught. It cleanses it, takes bacteria or anything out or whatnot. And then afterwards, we're gonna start seasoning it or whatnot. Um, one of my aunts made this seasoning. Look at this, guys. Can't tell y'all what's in it because guys. I don't even know what's in it. Guys, oh my God, the flavor in this thing. Ooh. My, my auntie human did that it is awesome guys awesome so it's like ratatouille you know <laughs> oh my god i'm over here trying to figure out what's in there i told him forget it it's too so many she flavors put the kitchen in there okay she put her foot in there and then some jesus christ so i'm just getting rid of the gloves um changing them out because no cross contamination no salmonella and all that good stuff so getting a fresh pair Got a whole box, guys. Where you got this glove from? Oh, you see the equate, right? Only one person carried the equate. Walmart. <laughs> and y'all all know Walmart is the mall in the um at this time um, during this pandemic. Ain't nowhere open, so Walmart is your go-to for just about any and everything. She's saying that, but Walmart is my mall. Yeah, that's my regular mall, anyways. Um, I get my home clothes from there. We ain't gonna even get into all that nope. detail because we cook it. Mm -hmm. But I love Walmart and I appreciate them. I appreciate Publix and all the other stores and restaurants that are still um, serving us in the community. But I'm about to serve my family. Like the real deal, real deal. Anybody mm -hmm. getting that money? Mm. Not today. All right, so. If y'all restaurant wanna throw down with us, bring it. Bring it, let us know. If you think you can do this better, bring it let's go so now that we did that we got the meat right there let me go ahead and add some water so it can start um boiling so i can put on the meat sorry guys i have to rinse the pot island people i see bon chaudet C'est parti non-stick aluminium, okay? Bon chaudet. <laughs> and it's my shit. Go to Bravo. And Walmart has some of the good ones too. Or whatnot, but you gotta be you gotta be knowledgeable of these um the type of pots that island people use. Because we don't use just any and everything. Alright, we're gonna put this on the stove to boil. Y'all see my big pot? Yes. My hubby bought that so we can have everything in one pot because usually I make in two different little ones. So we about to see what to do with that. If that works, it's a wrap. Um, so then we're gonna come over here and get all, all of our veg. I got my cabbage. So I'm gonna clean that up. And then um, once I'm clean, done cleaning it up, we'll be wrapped right back.
Ready to go. Okay, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and take care of the cabbage and all the vegetables um, over here, the carrots, the miniton. How you say that? Kayo. Okay, um, we're gonna take care of that. Um, I'm making these here for my mother, so I'm gonna take care of that. The eggplant and all the stuff that needs to be chopped up and cut and clean, and also the shrimp and the crab. So as soon as we're done taking care of all of that, guys, we'll be right back um, so you can see everything. Love you guys. All right, guys, so we're back with two of the six children. Elena, Elena. Six kids? <laughs> I didn't even realize that. <laughs> I can explain, y'all. No cable. Lies. He knew exactly what he was doing. Oh, what not. Um, but we're back. <laughs> we're back with two of them. Um, we got the second Elena. child, and we have the third um, child. Um, talk when they tell you to talk. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Elena yeah. Elgin. I mean, you I wait. Can you come right here? Can you come in the middle? Because nobody probably can see your big head. Hey, them. <laughs> <laughs> we have Elena Elton. So, yes, guys. So, they're going to um, come and do their little help. We're going to get their little helping hands. So, what they're going to do is um, we have, what are these called? Stone crabs. So, they're going to take um, the citron. Wine. Wine. The Sorry guys, I'm not good. Whatever. Um, but we're gonna take the seats on. Please jelly. Squiz. Um, but we're gonna do that on here and then they're gonna um pour some hot water on here because we wanna make sure that we clean these um thoroughly or whatnot. We don't want like the scum and all that. Oh, what a like, dirt and stuff, you know. You know, from the, the seeds and stuff and the stuff. Yes. So we're gonna have them do that. And then also, they're gonna go ahead and take care of the shrimp. Um, they are with the shell on. We want them to remove the shell. And they clean the vein. And then, yes, clean the vein, de vein mm -hmm. Take the tail off. And then they're gonna, once they're done doing all that, we get a citron. Squeeze. And then, put, um, by then it'll be room temperature water to, um, to just cleanse it off or whatnot. Um, from everything, the deveining and the touchy and the, all that stuff. And then we'll be um, back to, so I think um, Chef D. Nice is going to show y'all an example of, I guess. I don't know how to do it. I did, you know how to do it. But I'll show you one. Um, the way I do it. Wow, the way I do it. Don't judge me. I start from here, stick your thumb, the scale. Drag it. Work down, work down the line. See that? Boom. Pull, then from the tail, squeeze out. Ooh. You're done. Nice. And then I had to, to do to the vein. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I got Get your my knife. Come down the back of it. Drag it down, and boom. Ooh. You see that? Ooh. This is a no-no. Is that, it's, you don't eat that, that's You don't eat that. So you pull this part off, boom. You're done, boom, clean. Then once you're done with this, we'll squeeze the lemon, the limes, and then rinse it with hot water. The seeds one. The seeds one, then we'll put it with food and stuff. So children get, Get the going. Grab your stuff. Grab your stuff. Sure, sure. Oh well, they have to put their gloves on. Yeah, gloves. gloves. They did wash their hands, and they're gonna put their gloves on. So we'll be back. Oh. So we'll be back. See ya. Hi guys. We're back. So we got Didi. That's your name, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> AKA Baboon. My no. Yes, it's Baboon. No, it's I like Baboon. No. Baboon. No. Baboon. No. Baboon. No. Baboon. No. Anyways, <laughs> Baboon. And I got the little one, the okay. Come here. Don't be shy. Come here, come here. Ah, little shorty. Ah. Hey, I am shy. It's a lot. And we got our babysitter. Say hi. Hi. Baby DJ, say hi. Say hi. Say hi. 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 Say hi to everybody. Say hi over there. Camera. Say hi. Say, man, get me out of this kitchen. <laughs> 
Alright, well, thank you guys. Sure, sure. So, yeah, that's babysitter. Um, so, we, everybody's hands on and something or whatnot. But um, we have Dee Dee. She's going to be peeling our vegetables. Yeah. As you can hear, baby DJ wants to, you know, orchestrate this whole joint and direct. Mm -hmm. But she's going to be peeling the um, vegetables and stuff. So, we're going to be right back while everybody take care of their part. Once everything's completed, we're going to come back so that way you can see us put everything together. So, love you guys. Hit that subscribe button. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh. We're back. So, right now, what we're doing is we're going to go ahead and put everything together. As you can see, everything's cut up, peeled, sliced, diced, all of the above, or whatnot. Yeah, I am. Meat is seasoned. Couldn't do this on camera because you know, got some special, special going on besides what you had salt and plate. Um, so, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and move this over. Okay, See, it's empty, nice, deep pot. If y'all haven't guessed yet, if y'all did guess, those of y'all that guessed Megan, y'all right, y'all some island people for real, for real. But we're about to get this popping so. First and foremost, I start off with the meat on the bottom. Please, all my true, true Haitians that make this for a living, don't judge me. Remember, there's no right way or wrong way. It's all about learning the uh, what goes into there. And then, you know, you have to tailor it to your liking because some people don't eat beef. Some people eat pork. Some people don't eat pork. Um, you know, and then some people like seafood in there. Some people don't. Some people like snow crab, some people like blue crab, some people like regular crab, some people like the claws um, or whatnot. And some people just do it as only the vegetables. So put the meat in there. That's your first layer. Nice. Nope. All right, so did that. Now I can remove the gloves. I had to do it because of the meat or whatnot. I know y'all probably thinking, dang, they wasting gloves. Well, don't want to cross the tendon. So now I'm going to go ahead and take the carrots, the militon, um, and put in there because these are harder and I want it um, closer to the bottom. So while it's boiling and steaming, um, these cook um, fast, um, cook at the same pace. The ones that are um, not as hard will cook as the steam goes on. Right, Chef? Yes, Chef. <laughs> so we're going to do um, these first, the uh, uh, militon. And I just go around. No specific way, you just don't want to throw it on um, one area. So I'm trying to layer it out. Almost like making lasagna, but not. But carrots, you're just going to pour on top, right? Yeah, carrots, you can just put it on top and then just spread it out. All right, so I put all the... Um, now I'm putting the carrots, guys. So if any of y'all ever wonder how to get y'all kids to eat some veg, this is a perfect way. If you're an islander and your kids don't eat this or anybody don't eat this, child, I don't know if you're a true islander because I don't know why Haitian that don't eat this. Whether it's this way, whether it's minus the meat or whatnot, they eating this. Oh, make them eat it. No, I'm playing. I'm playing. I like, I like, I like. I don't do that. And then I have some cucumbers. These just usually dissolve. It's just an added flavor. Mm -hmm. Flavor. All right. So once you do this, then you want to go ahead. Um, and get you get the eggplant. We slice them. Long ways, thick. Yes. About what, like two inches? 
about more or less um if you guys ever pick up eggplants that have a lot of seeds to see me i don't know how the haitians do it i sometimes i hit sometimes i miss but this time i got lucky hit or miss so I like to just spread it a little. You don't have to really spread too much because it's not tender. Get tender. Just throw it in there. Guys, just know, even though you see this pop, full to the top like this, y'all know it ain't going to be full like that. Because it sweats. It's full, but not this full. It sweats. Ooh, baby, baby. Baby, baby, baby. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, All right, guys. So that is everything. Like, I'm so happy that my hubby got this pot. Because usually, I got like pots. 20 Two, pots. three pots. Now, the one thing I did not add in it for y'all Haitians that's going to try to judge me is lima beans. We don't do the lima beans because... Mm -mm. I mm -mm. kind of started asking myself, why we doing lima beans plus we want to do sus pot with beans, black beans, or red beans, or whatever, or white beans. Like, why are we having two types of beans? Like, we, are we really trying to go to the bathroom or try to enjoy and keep it in? <laughs> so, my philosophy was to cut the beans out, um, the lima beans out, or whatnot. But if you want to do that, that's if you want to do the traditional, traditional way and you want to add the lima beans, more power to you. My household, we cut the lima mm -hmm. beans out. Mm -hmm. And besides, I noticed my kids would used to, they used to um, pick, it, yeah. pick it to the side. They ain't care for the lima beans. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes the lima beans just resolve all the way through and you just see the little shell. <laughs> so the next step is, um, what I like to do is go ahead and um, the pot that I had my meat with the seasoning. That's, you can't waste all that flavor. Mm. I just take it. Mm. Because yeah. you have to add a little bit of water. You don't want to add too much water because the vegetables are going to sweat out. So it's going to make its own um, water. Like a stock. Like, yeah. like a stew. It's basically a stew. A stew. Stew. So you need all that stuff right there. So basically what you want is you want to bring it to boil. Then have it simmer in medium. And slow heat. And you'll watch the vegetables go down. And um, guys, so I think that should be good. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna um, pour the water slowly because it will splash since it has to work its way down. I try to kind of move it around because I want to make sure the water is actually going. Make sure once you cover it, you see that you cover it. They put in cover it, la. Lo mete su eshoa. Once you start, it start going. Do not uncover it for anything in the world because you shock the vegetables. And um, I don't know. My family, my Haitians say that it does something to the veggies and it just doesn't fully cook correctly. And trust me, they know. Um, or whatever. I don't know how that works, but listen. I don't undo it either unless I smell a burn or is that it's just that time. Okay? And you can tell when it's that time because the the aroma just takes over your house. That aromatic. You be having neighbors coming, what are you cooking? Mm -hmm. I remember I lived somewhere, our neighbors was like, what are y'all cooking upstairs? Because it's taking over our whole parking lot. <laughs> no, nothing. We just cooking regular food. Like, who are y'all? Where y'all from? We Haitians. Oh my God. Can y'all share some? We won't share no living. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, we will be back. Uh, we're gonna put this and then I'm gonna start prepping um, for the sauce. All right guys, so we're back. My big pot is already on the stove. Or whatever. Starting to cook and do all that good stuff. This is for later. Um, so now we're about to do the um, sauce pot. What y'all call that in English? Um, I don't know what sauce was. Soup? I don't know. It's beans, but uh, like a sauce. I guess like pollo chapacal, but. Better. Okay. That's the only way I can. Like a bean sauce. Bean yeah. sauce. 
That's we'll take half the portion and um, blend it and put it back in the pot. Yeah, that's the only way I can explain it because for y'all to understand what the sus part is because I don't know what it is in English. So basically, um, I have my pot and I have um, my daughter opening um, black beans. I'm using Goya black beans in the can only because we're cooking late, but usually I would soak regular beans um, for overnight to soften it up a little so that way the cooking time is um, cut in half. The Asians don't soak them. They just wake up and start boiling or whatever. But the chef taught me soak overnight. It softens it up, makes the um, time um, shorter. But this way makes the time even sh extra short because this is already um, cooked or whatever. And all I'm doing is boiling it to cook it down more and then you know, you'll see them, what I'm doing. So here we go. So we're using eight cans. So this is what I'm doing. One, two. I'm gonna open that one. Three, four. Five. I'm going to use five to um, tenderize even more, make it um, more, um, like cook it more, um, reduce it down more. Um, and then I'm going to throw in some carrots that we chopped up. As I stated, I incorporate vegetables any and every way. That way my kids don't have no excuse why they don't eat this, that, and a third. Um, so we do that. Then I'm going to add water. And then what we're gonna basically do, this is gonna cook um, down or whatnot. So the carrots are gonna soften up. Oh, um, and then I'm gonna blend this, all of this. And the three cans that I didn't use, since they're already cooked, is what I use um, while the finishing process is happening, which you guys will see at that point as well. But we're gonna go ahead and um, get this boiling so the carrots can cook down or whatnot. And yes, it's gonna be made in this big pot because Apparently, I was told they won't, they sell squash. So, we'll be back, and when we come back, it'll be um, just making plain white rice. That's good, crew. Now, we're about to start the rice. Uh, if you don't know how to cook rice, which most people, which most people don't know how to do it, but uh, all it is is two in one. What white I mean? rice, for me. But other rice, yeah. White rice, I ain't even big cup of tea. So when I say two in one, meaning depending on the measurement that you use. So if you use a cup of rice, one cup rice, you use two cup water. And you should, you, there's no way you can mess that up. Um, it's an easy process. So, see you soon. What's good, crew? Back at it again. Just kidding. Anyways, um, from before, like I told you how it was like, we try to pressure it in there. But as I told you, as it cooks, it goes down. Once it closes, we keep it closed. So as you can see, the whole thing is shut closed. And it's cooking. Smelling good. Smelling really good, really good. And then we have the beans going with the carrots over here. Uh-huh. Oh, all with some um, scotch bonnet. Of nice. course, because we like spice in our life. Uh, so once the um, beans are done, um, which will be like another five ten minutes more or less um we're gonna go ahead and get that blended and as i told you i had um left three cans um of the beans because we like whole beans as well um to be in in that um sauce pot. again i'm gonna get it don't worry but not on this video and then i have um when i'm finishing up the sauce pot, this is the carrots that's gonna go in there for me i'm not doing the rice really um, so I have the semi-sweet, right, or however y'all want to call it, plantains that I'm going to boil uh, for myself and for my mother and whoever else wants. Because clearly I'm not eating all that, guys. I mean, come on now. Um, but yeah. And then we have the rest of the ingredients for the legume. And once the legume is done, the next step will be back with you. I do, now that the beans are boiled, I just add some water to our... Um, 
Um, blender. So I just do halfway. Perfect. And then I take the beans that I boiled more with the carrots. Okay, so that's it. We're gonna put it on the puree mode. <laughs> Strainer, Paswa. Okay, she's coming. I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in. I just let it sit in there. I pour it in. It's not gonna overflow into the. Then I just put this on the edge, and then all you do is basically you're straining all the. As go through, just will allow um, the sauce the bean sauce, sauce soup, whatever y'all want to call it, it's going to allow it to thicken um, without having to use anything. And then if it's too loose, um, your bean sauce, if you make the dumplings, flour naturally will thicken up anything. So the dumplings, and as it cooks, will cause it to thicken as well. So this is the process I'm working on right now. And... Once I'm done with this and get it on the stove, we'll be back. Hey guys, hey. So, we got the beans all uh, blended and everything. Got it going. Um, I added um, two of the three cans of beans. As y'all can see, it's full. So I gotta wait till it boils down. Um, I added the, carrot, the chunkier carrots. Um, so that way, could, uh, this yellow look is Maggie. Y'all Haitians know what that is. Um, gives it the extra boost in flavor. You got the scotch bonnet pepper to give it a little zing, not too much. And I um, also added spinach to it. Um, like I told y'all, get the vegetables in how you can for the kids. And check this out. Look at the um, cabbage and stuff. You see how it rendered? So you can see the eggplant. Uh-huh. The carrots, the cabbage. Beautiful. Um, go in there. Go in there. Show them. No, no. Go. Yeah, go in that pot. Show them. Show them. Let it boil. So, down Chef somehow. Dada. Um. So right now, what you're doing with this pan now? So now I'm just taking out the veggies because we're going to mash it up. Mash up. To make it um have the legume look. So once we're done doing that, we'll come back and let y'all see how that looks before we. Put everything together um and chef be nice is going to be working on the crab and yeah. the shrimp um mm. so that way we can throw that in at the very end hey check out the rice though check out the rice y'all check out the rice hold on hold on, on. mambo mambo see this perfectly cooked rice <sighs> don't forget y'all 10 time time aromatics <laughs> aromatics Flavor. All right, guys, so we back. We got all the veg out of the pot, mashed up. As y'all can see, it still has its own juices, if you want to call it. So we're going to go ahead and start putting everything together. The meat is here, fully cooked. We have the sauce on the bottom drain. If I need some to add, it'll be good. And then we have the watercress and some spinach. Um, frozen spinach down below. As I said, we're doing like a quick, quick, um, not the long version. Have the beans almost ready. We're gonna add um, some coconut milk to end it off or whatnot. We're not gonna add the dumplings today because the pot, as you can see, is fully loaded. Hey guys, I'm back. Finally yeah. done with all the food. Just wanna show y'all the end result. This is our plating. We got the suspa, the legume with the crab. You got the rice. It's just a um, you know, a little sexy plate right here. Yeah. Um. So yes, guys. So this is food. We have um some family over. Quarantine. What? 
Six feet, what? This is our six feet all day, every day. The blood of Jesus covers us all day, every day. So we about to go feast. Um, Let me drink my cup, my cup, cup. Cuz, say what's up. <laughs> say what's up, cuz. Get on my amen. Show your face. Show your face, cuz. First of all. Yeah, there you go. Speak your mind, cuz. Come here. Okay, can I do my assignment? No, talk, talk. Hey y'all, what it do? Ooh. <laughs> my eyebrows not done. Oh, it's done. Hi, <laughs> right, look up. Hey. CX. There it is. Man, that boy got that walk, boy. Look at him legs. You say?